Today is Saturday, November 9th, 2024. And uh, you want to come around this side? Today we're going to be sanding this shell. It's 8.30 in the morning. We're going to be sanding this shell, or really the quarter panels in the firewall, in 600 grit wet. You guys saw the process on the fenders and the doors last weekend. So this, this is essentially the same amount of work. If you imagine, this is about the size of a door. And this is, you know, a little smaller than the fender. Same on the other side. And then the firewall is about the size of the hood. So we got about, I don't know, we're going to have some help today. So we'll probably finish all this before lunch. Uh, it's in epoxy. It's an SPI epoxy. That's all he used was epoxy filler and epoxy. No 2K primer, no poly primer, no nothing. It's just epoxy. And it's uh, the SPI epoxy is sandable, so it's real easy to work with. You can see right here where he painted when he did the, the center stripe. He did that at his house. And you can see where he sanded in, uh, in preparation for, to spray this. He went past it. So we don't have to go right up to the edge. You know what I mean? It's already past it on the bottom as well. So it did us a favor by that. So all I'm gonna do now is just kind of tape this up. That way this doesn't get damaged because I think, I think we're gonna call the stripe done. We might flow coat it when we flow coat the entire car. We probably will, but for right now, the stripe is done. So uh, we're using, I'm using blue painters tape because it's cheap and it doesn't really stick. We, right now we don't want like a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of serious adhesion. Uh, we don't want to lift the paint or anything like that, which I doubt that's even an issue. But uh, all we're doing is protecting it from, uh, from getting any damage in the 600, in the 600, because you, you can get careless and then scratch that and then you know then we have a problem. So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape up here, up here on the fin. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the green tape because it's a little uh, it's a little easier to work with. I mean it, it kind of you can you can curve it. This tape has sat outside for like a year and it and it really deteriorated the quality of the tape. So, tech tip. See what I mean? This is a this is 3M scotch green and sitting out here for a year. You know what I mean? Keeps ripping. It just keeps ripping. So, tech tip, store your paint indoors. Your tape. Oh yeah, your tape and your paint. And your paint. Yeah, <laughs> I keep I keep my paint inside, keep everything inside. You keep it out here in the humidity, it just deteriorates, man. So right here, we definitely don't want to get any paint or any sanding on the uh, on the paint, the parts that are already painted. Just a little protection. That's all. Uh, the roof is in. Uh, the roof has been painted uh, and cleared, and it's in 600 in preparation for another round of a clear. So uh, we don't need to tape any of that because all we're doing today is sanding. Uh, we're gonna sand the jams. The jams have been bare metal and, uh, and epoxy. There goes one of the, one of the help. Um, and man, they're clean. They're clean, clean. I don't even think you needed to do any, any work in the jams. Uh, as far as the firewall, you can come around here. The firewall, the main areas we're gonna we're gonna focus on is this to this. Yeah, we're gonna sand this right here, but by hand or maybe even red pad. We're gonna sand these. We're not gonna spend a lot of time. I mean, we're gonna sand this by hand. You know what I mean? But it's not it's not that crucial. We just we don't give it a quick once over. So the firewall will probably take about an hour. So what I'm going to do now is, is run another piece of tape along the bottom and then I'm going to guide coat the whole thing with the dry guide coat like you saw last weekend. But that's really it. We got to do this in the trunk today. 
um, and then we're gonna ha we're gonna let it sit probably until Thanksgiving, and then at that point, before paint, we're probably gonna wash it with uh, with gray pad, gray Scotch Brite, to kind of revive the scratches a little bit before paint. That's the plan today. It's probably like I say, it's probably gonna take till about lunch, and uh, we'll bring you guys back here once we get this process started. A little welding car back there. Just guy coated, just guy coated the firewall as you can see. This is pretty much, I mean, we might put a little bit here, but this is already in Raptor, so we're not sanding that. We're not going to guy coat the cowl, we're just going to hit that by hand. The sides, not so much, just by hand because it obviously gets covered by the fenders. Uh, So same thing on this side, when he, when he painted the side stripe, when he went to go sand with 600, he went further. As you can see, this has been sanded. So we don't have to get up to right to the edge, but we went ahead and taped it anyways. A little run there. So right now you're prepping the car for what? He's, for what, 600 weight. He's 600 weight. What, uh, what stage is that? I mean, like, like after this, I, uh, what's the next step? I believe this was probably in probably 320 and then if I had to guess this is in this is 320 followed by two or maybe three coats of epoxy and that's where we're at after this uh, 600 we're gonna 600 wet sand today uh, and then it's probably going to sit, like I said previously, till probably the weekend of Thanksgiving. And then wash it before before actually masking. Wash it with soap and water with the with the gray Scotch Brite, which is kind of equivalent to like I believe a thousand grit. Uh, and maybe use some scuffing paste because uh, it's argued that if you if you sand this with 600 and let it sit for two weeks. And then try and paint on top of that without resanding. It's argued that the the scratches self heal, hmm. and you no longer have a 600 grit scratch. So it's kind of like you need to sand it, kind of like the day before paint, or or maybe the day of. You don't want to sand it in 600, then leave it for six months, then come back six months later, wipe it down, and go straight to paint, because those scratches may have self healed. As the as the material cures, if that makes sense. So, back to what I was saying: 600 today. Let it sit till probably Thanksgiving. Uh, gray pad, soap and water, maybe some scuff and paste. Let it dry real good, and then mask, then paint. So it's not that far away. And like I said earlier, this is probably less work than we did last weekend. Um, so we, we should be done with this thing by lunch, especially if we have, you know, three or four sets of hands. Everybody take their own little corner. So when you, so when you sand this, right, so you're sanding, wet sanding it, you're, you're just sanding lightly to take the the uh, the powder off, right? Yeah, we're because you don't yes. want to go in too deep. No, all we're doing is uh, well, for one, we're smoothing out imperfections like this run right here. Now you can see it with the guide coat. 
Got yep. a little run in epoxy. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Uh, all we're doing is, is taking things like that down, making it smooth, and creating a tooth for the sealer, uh, if we use sealer, to grab onto. Okay. We're not reshaping. We're not trying to go down to filler or metal or, or anything. That's kind of, that's a good point you bring up because there is such thing as over sanding. Yeah. Yep. If you don't know when to stop or when good is good, you can over sand and then you're kind of creating yourself more work. So at this point, yes, just to just to remove the guide coat. And the guide coat, just, just to let you know that you've sanded yes. for the next, area. the next process. And I mean, step. even though like, you know, obviously the guide coat is heavy here. It's heavy here. It's light here. It's still there. Yeah. There is still guide coat there. Once we go to sand and go to, you know, water it down and sand it, you're going to see that the guide coat is there. So it kind of looks a little inconsistent, but it's, it's pretty covered. Um, and like I say, this stuff is so cheap said previously I really prefer the dry but th th this car is, is is real unique and I consider it special because it's epoxy only it's epoxy filler it, ha it had the original paint we took it he took it all down to bare metal epoxied it or bare metal d8 it 80 grit epoxied it did what little filler work was needed kind of created what I what I call an epoxy sandwich Mm -hmm. Where it's epoxy filler, epoxy, sand the whole thing, and another round of epoxy. That's all it is. So this paint job should last a really, really long time because it's epoxy. Yeah. It's not. It's not 2K. There's really nothing to to shrink. There's really nothing to. I mean, if the original paint lasts that long, you can imagine what yeah. this one will last. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a. A real rare car. I mean, being a '59 already is rare, but being a '59 that, that that didn't need quarter work, patchwork, <laughs> tail end work, that's it's a it's yeah. a real gem. And like I said before, you can see when I shake this up, I'm rotating this applicator as well. That way, we get the full face covered. Be nice if they had like a little brush applicator maybe no. where you can kind of paint in there but you don't have like a little sponge a little oh uh, yeah sponge. actually i do It'd be a little easier uh in here we're just sand by hand yeah you know because you know like in the polishing stage you got to remember where you put sandpaper you got to put the polisher so hopefully when it comes time to to clear this hopefully here and all up under here we can we can wet it down where it doesn't need to be polished sanded and polished because where you put sandpaper you got to be able to get to the pol the polisher to it i mean good luck getting a polisher up in here yeah you know I mean, it's doable but it's better if you don't have to so that's it things in guide coat i think we'll go next door and I'll, we'll guide coat the trunk all right we're in the other little room here as you see, the fenders and the doors were done last weekend. They're they're ready for uh, that great, like I said, that great pad refresh and paint. Trunk. Trunk has been a nightmare. Uh, not because of the condition of the trunk, but uh, I think mainly because of the humidity level we've been having here. I mean, we had a cold front blow through last night it's still 74% humidity and that's what a cold front or a cool front. Uh, we couldn't get the paint to lay down as we wanted. We tried a lot. We tried different guns. We tried different PSI. We tried different techniques. We tried different, we tried everything. Couldn't get it to lay down without, without uh, modeling. Uh, we tried different speed reducers. We tried uh, blending, we tried a blending agent, blending additive, uh, 
couldn't couldn't get it, man. So we took the whole thing down with uh, I believe 320 wet base coat and got it in epoxy. So that's what it's in right now. And man, this epoxy laid out really nice. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of. You can tell. I mean, look, look, yeah. look how smooth it is. The shine with the light coming it's off. It's just it. already, it's already there. You know, yeah. I can see it already done. Yeah. And you can tell by the way the guide coat is applying. Just smooth. It's not a rough surface. It's not like dry 2K primer. And this is uh, two coats of epoxy. Two. First coat was medium. And the second coat was was heavy, heavy-handed, but man, it's just it's smooth, man, smooth as glass. So we're gonna attempt this again. We're gonna wait for 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 better weather, better uh, lower humidity. I think the humidity has been a big factor in in the way these metallics are spraying. The paint that he picked, which is on the fins, is 90% uh, metallic and like 8% pearl and 2% paint. Huh. So there's, there's, there's not a lot of room for error when spraying something like that, man. It's a real different, difficult color to spray from what I gather. I've never tried it. Well, we tried it last weekend. But talked to a few people and they're like, ooh. It's paint code KAD, infinity color. Um, yeah. Now, painting something small like a little tank or something that's easy but when you have something this big this thing is like 20 square feet yeah uh, and it's front and center when you when you're walking up to the car you're gonna see it boom right in your face it's hip you know hip waist level boom right in your face you want it good you want it right we're gonna get it right so this is in guy coat this is ready for 600 wet we're gonna do this today along with the shell. Be done by lunch. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Yeah. I, 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 I'm in between, man. I wish it would have matched more closely to the, to the side panel. Well, you can wrap your stuff on. All right. I'm sure you have material that's over. Oh, oh Big E came back. That's 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 rare. Big E came back with the good work ethic. Yeah, man, what you got going on? He was up before me. Man, that's that's good. What you got going on? He said, Dad, we got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the back of the 59? What paper? 600? Yes, sir. Good. Good, man. This thing's going to be done in like an hour, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a couple quarter panels. Fireball. We got Bobby over here messing stuff up. <laughs> he wasn't here for the lesson last week? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Firewall looking good. You about to hit that deuce. Mm-hmm. Everything lined up. Mm-hmm. Got one skirt done. Hey man, did you see them fender? I hadn't looked. Yeah, I think they're good. They're good? And they even have the holes for the rocker. Uh-huh. All right. All right. That's got to go. You going to put three antennas on your car, Bobby? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, get this last skirt right here in 600 using the black diamond. <laughs> Time is it, Bobby? 10:32. So, man, we got a lot done in an hour and a half. This trunk is is about done. We got just a little bit more. Yeah. Those spots here and there, this side is done. The firewall's done. The door jams are done. This quarter panel. 
wrapping it up. I guess we gotta do the other quarter panel. Mm -hmm. Tail panel's done. Oh, he's doing the fourth panel. Tail panel's done. Door jam over here is done. Of course, it looks the same. You think, man? Yeah. So that's epoxy over 320. What you're standing right now? Yeah. You don't need this tape, huh? No. I put it on there because I didn't know who was going to be standing. Feels the paint with it. <laughs> Man, that's a lot. We got a lot done in an hour and a half, dude, with five people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna have to move the, the trunk back this way and get back to that area. Yeah. And so we use a combination of blocks, man. The black diamonds are good, but. I'll see his dirt block and and the uh, yeah. More, I mean, uh, we did the majority of the work with the with the long ones to yeah. get more mm -hmm. uh, more ground, right? Yeah. And then the little ones for kind of finish up the little corners here and there where we can get no breakthrough. That's good. Yeah. So we don't got to seal it. Would you still recommend sealing it? Even if no, because what we're sanding is epoxy. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I don't know what is this. Is that just that's guy code? Oh, okay. Just needs a little bit by hand. But yeah, we're trying not to break through. All right. Well, I'm gonna get some buckets with soap so that we can wash this and put it up. Did you show me your boots? My wet sanding boots. Hey, man. Hey, these things are comfortable, dude. Hey, and guess what? My feet ain't wet like yours either. <laughs> what? What's wrong with my shoes? I know they're wet. I know your feet are wet. Mine ain't. Stylish, comfortable, affordable. Did you, wait, did you wait away one side? These things are these things are comfortable, dude. <laughs> Magellan, baby. <Jeez>. Stylish. <laughs> All right, man. So we're gonna wash this thing off. Bring you guys back. Bobby's earning his lunch today. I want pizza. He wants pizza. Actually, I had pizza last night. Damn. What kind? Domino's. Got some leftovers. You, you want leftovers? Yeah. Work all day, get leftovers. <laughs> Bobby earning his lunch today, man. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna eat. <laughs> he says he forgot his wallet. <laughs> okay, then me too. Well, I want pizza. I, I, honestly, I, I don't want pizza. We had pizza last night. Well, awesome. I had burger last night. I mean, you can buy it again if you want. But you gotta get good pizza, man. What, like uh... Marco's is good. Yeah, that's all right. Marco's ain't better than Domino's. Sheet. Quarter panel's done. Yep. Door jam done. So this whole side's done. Uh, I need this quarter. Oh yeah, this side. Huh? This side is done is what I said. Uh, well, that side is done. Firewall's done. I think so. Tail end's done. Halfway done. The little blocks are good, man. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I love them. Man. They're like twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. I actually ordered some uh, on Thursday. Of that? Uh, one of these, and then uh, I lost my soft block. I don't know what the hell I lost. Hmm. I don't know how. I use the soft block a lot uh, when I'm sanding beers. Yeah. Because they're so round. And man, I couldn't find it. Dur block soft block? Yeah, dur block soft block. They're for wet sanding. Yeah. They're real. It's like a sponge, like a hard sponge. It's like a hard sponge. Yeah. Yeah, I like them, man, because they're flexible. Like right here, it would wrap around this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, yesterday I, I uh, using the hydraulic press to put in the bushings on the control arm. Yeah. Man, I forgot. I don't know how I did that before on the other Chrome A arms, but I, I had a pretty good system yesterday. So I got a I got a wood block, and uh and I made a hole in it, a little bit bigger than the bushing, and then I put that, I put the metal plate, and then I put the wood with the hole, and then I put the arm over it, and then I put another metal plate over the bushing. You know, greased everything, cleaned everything up, and man, it popped right in, and it went into the hole where the wood is at. So there was there was nothing uh, damaging the chrome. So the wood, the chrome was on top of the wood one. Hmm. So yeah, man, it worked out perfect. Hmm. I was just looking around like, man, how the hell did I do this before? You know, I didn't want to use a hammer or nothing like that. Yeah. And man, it worked out perfect. It worked out great. Hole saw, man. Same hole saw I used for the cylinder. I remember, you remember when I when I had that 64 with the chrome and I took it to the mechanic shop of my high school instructor yeah, to push the bushings in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Uh -huh. uh, upper and lower 64 A arms chromed. Okay. And I mean, I didn't have a press or nothing. Yeah. I was like 24 years old or something. Yeah. And I, I took it to my high school teacher had a uh, he had a legit business, but he was also an instructor at the high school. Nice. And uh, I took it to him. I mean, this, this was six years after high school. I took it to him to press in, and uh, man, they sat there for like two days, man, and he never did them. Why? He said he didn't want to mess them up. Oh, come on. So I took them back, and I think we ended up doing it in the grass in your front yard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not hard, man. You just gotta think a little bit. He didn't want to mess them up. Yeah. Really, all you gotta do is kind of just. just I remember when I when I. I didn't mean to cut you out. Go ahead. I took him to him. He said, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> 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 I said, "What do you mean?" He's like, "What the hell? Are, are these chrome?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he just couldn't get over it. <laughs> and because uh, I mean, it was a repair shop. It wasn't a custom shop. It yeah, was yeah, a yeah. mechanic shop. Yeah. And that's what he said. What the hell is this? You play I said, man, they just go in like any other a arm. Like there's nothing. There's just you know, nothing special. What he say? Well, why don't you do? Yeah, I, I forgot, man. But he ended up not doing it. I went to go pick them up, and they weren't done. And I was like, man, dude. <laughs> and he told you straight up, like, I don't want to mess them up. Yeah. Yeah, they're easy to mess up, man. That, that. Well, if the if the chrome if the chrome job ain't good, then yeah, it's yeah. gonna be Flake City. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, those bushes do have like a little flange that they can cover up some of. Them. Yeah, if you ch yeah, a little bit. They have a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah, but that fool, uh, he never paid me, man. Uh, on that the shop teacher in high school, we had he had this van. This Econo line van that uh like blood and blood out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this was in, this was in like '97, man. It was an Econo line van that under the dash had caught on fire, and it sat in the corner of the shop like nobody wanted to mess with it. And I was like, I bet you I can get it to run. And he was like, No way. And I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, Well, let's bet. No. So we bet a hundred dollars. Yeah. No way. Yeah, we bet a hundred dollars. And all I did was was replace the wire one at a time mm -hmm. under the dash. Like it's burnt here, cut here, follow it, cut there, and replace the wires one at a time. Yeah. And like that was my project for like the rest of the year. Yeah. And uh, I finished up and all that, and uh, the thing started right up, dude. 
<laughs> and he never paid me. <laughs> That's a good thing, man. He never paid me, man. That's illegal. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> I think he retired, man. I think he retired. I think, he, I mean, he still has a shot, but I believe he passed it on to his team. That's funny, man, about that chrome arm. What the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's, you know, that's, unfortunately, that's how a lot of people treat that, you know? Yeah, the mentality is, they can't understand the customer. Right. Yeah, I just ran one wire at a time, man. Fire right away. Took me, you know, I don't know how many weeks of of class time. But that was his van or that was school property or? Uh, I think it was a customer. Oh, It was yeah. a customer. Miklo van. Man, I remember they had this fool. Uh, Cause we would do like oil changes and stuff. Oil change or maybe a little front brake job. Just real minor stuff, you know? Nothing with too much liability. This fool uh, changed the oil, I forgot his name. He went, he put it up on the lift and drained, drained it. Mm -hmm. And dropped it down and didn't put no oil in it. Oh no. And went to start it, man. That thing just started knocking. Oh. It was one of the teacher's car. I don't know, maybe it was sabotage. But, the, but I mean, did y'all put oil in it afterwards? I think, if I remember right, they had, the engine had to be rebuilt or whatever it needed to be, internally had to be fixed, man. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, they got the, they had the tools to do it, you know, it's just a matter of doing it. That was a good little program, man. Yeah, yeah, I had auto shop for, for uh, two years. That's what happened to get him in the rich neighborhood. Shit, come on, man. That was a deep moment. They didn't have that in mind in high school. Auto shop? Really? Where'd you go to school at? Avis. Oh, okay. I went to Westbury, man, so I don't know. Westbury was in the hood. Well, they knew that y'all needed to produce a lot of mechanics, man, or else. <laughs> <laughs> blue collar worker, man. Yeah. No, nah, it was real good, man. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, those, those, those uh, uh, Classes used to be real. Vocational programs. They don't. Real, I mean, good, some, 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 they still exist in some places, but. But why would they take them away? Need more of them. Yeah, yeah they do. Don't you have? Don't you have somebody that follows you that uh, is an instructor? In California on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. I forgot what it is, but they have a huge shop, dude. Like. They, they oh yeah, those, those the, the kids work. The they do. They do. They the do work on. They actually do some lowrider stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, dude, have you seen the shop? Yeah, it's huge. What's his name? They got all the, all the tools that they I think it's in Bakersfield or something. I'm not sure, but man, dude, the shop, all new tools, yeah. lifts, yeah, everything you need. But it's cool, man, because like that, you, you show them something, then you kind of keep them off the streets. And sure. I'm in favor of that. Way. Yeah. Still want my $100, though. I sure could use it. <laughs> sure could use it. So the skirts are done, man. They're ready. They're ready to wrap you. You want me to mix it up? Not yet. Uh, you can do it after lunch. I think. Yeah. Um, it is 11.35. 11.31. What do y'all want to do for lunch? Burrito. Yo. Have you had Marco's pizza? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Okay. Well, you're not missing. Okay. <laughs> Kenny says it's better than Domino's. Oh, no. Domino's is all right, man. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. What what does what does Marcos have that? What's so special about it? Yeah, can you? Uh, they put they put more pepperoni on it. Okay. It's more expensive. Well, I'm saying, but you can do the same thing with Domino's. You can ask them for more pepperoni. And it'll be more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Marcos, if you're listening to this, man, hey, we need some pizzas, man. I like pizza. Pizza is my favorite. They're, they're expensive. Though. Little Caesars, man. Shit, no. No, oh. I can't. I can't. Nope. Get them. Can't. Nope. No, they got stuff across just like the, nope, the big boys care. do. Well, y'all yeah, like Little Caesars? No, he, Johnny won't make it home. And I probably won't make you it home. You gotta get the good one. They yeah. have the cheap one. They, no. Then you gotta get you the, the mostest and the bestest. That thing will stop you up for a week. <laughs> <laughs> the mostest and the bestest is good as hell. Stuffed crust with yeah, the extra pepperoni? Nope. No. They call it the old world, I think, and it's just a bunch of pepperoni. Yeah, that's true. You like that, Bobby? Yeah. Little Caesars? Yeah. No, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. You do? I, I like it, Bobby. I can eat that. Now they need to work on their wings, though. Yeah, they still wings. wings now? Yeah, they, they got wings. Yeah, those things are like plastic. Yeah, their wings are. Yeah. <laughs> like plastic. Are they boneless? No, they they're, no, they're, like no, they're regular. That's, that's a strip. They're regular, regular wings, you know, bone, bone in wings. 
Very good. I didn't even sell it. I didn't came up. <laughs> yeah. I was saying, I mean, what else they sell? They have pasta? Uh, they, they still Spaghetti? got some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude, I don't do little seasons. I haven't had little seasons in probably 15 years, man. Yeah, I, I want to eat that. Oh, well, I mean, they came up. I mean, back then, yeah, little pieces. Still five dollars? Nah, they don't have five dollar pizza. I don't think they have them anymore. Nah. But he's bad. Twenty four, can we? I mean, what are they now? Seven? Uh, I know the stuff crust is nine. Oh no! Oh no! What are you talking about, man? That's still cheaper than any other other. Domino's is uh six ninety nine. They don't buy sell three or more. They don't sell stuff crust. Really? Domino's is six ninety nine. You buy three or more. So that's what we're gonna eat then, right? Yeah. We had last night. Well, you don't have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had pizza in a while. They sell other things, though. Wings? Mmm. And wings are good. Which one? Phenomenos? Really? Yeah. I never had them. Mm -hmm. Y'all want pizza? Mm -hmm. All that's covered up by the skirt, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Should have left it alone. <laughs> Should have never touched it. No paint behind the skirt? <laughs> no paint? Just the top half and a little bit right here? Yeah. yeah. I remember some dude in the valley, he used to paint. He was painting a Cadillac. And you know how it has that big rocker on the bottom? Yeah. yeah. He didn't paint nothing past the rocker. <laughs> Took all the rockers too. off though. He yeah. did that. But this is the original color. Over here, candy. <laughs> <laughs> Now you this got a, this got a, I mean, how would you replicate this faded body line? I had to do it on the other side. Where? This the crease side. right here? Yeah. It fades less and less. Yeah, it goes away. Front. It goes oh, yeah, away. Goes, and there's one here also that goes away. Yeah, it starts the center here. one. It goes away kind of in the same area, but right here it starts going away. To where it's flat. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Didn't know That's, that. Remember when we went to that Jada show? I was oh, like, man, look, yeah, yeah. look at this yeah, line here. That's right, you did mention that. You're looking at it. Well, there was the bottom one. That's yeah, that's the yeah, yeah, the bottom crease is where. Yeah. And that's that's when I was working on the other side at the time. I was like, man, eating my lunch, man. I'm not gonna say it's perfect. I probably got about about 95 percent. But the skirt goes to about right here. Yeah, the skirt covers it. Yeah. yeah. Or it goes right up to it. Yeah. Now this one is beautiful, perfect. This original I actually didn't do nothing to this line. Or actually, there's almost no body work here. I think uh, there was a little bit here, a little bit over there, uh, closer to the door, and then right here was just a bunch of Audis from, from the inside out. From, and Mark was telling me that's when from when they pressed them. Mm -hmm. You know, it came like that. So I had to fix this. All in here had Audis. Mm -hmm. Right here just had a few little stingers. Nothing, nothing bad. So we're doing now. What's the next? We just gotta wash it down. Yeah, wash get rid of it. all the stuff. Yeah. Wash it. Go eat some lunch, man. Yeah. Oh. Sounds good to me. Let's see if it passes the test. Oh yeah. Man, I, just, I can't wait till this thing's on the floor with the kit. Oh, oh yeah. With that little rumble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's time for this one. Do the people already know what, what uh, engine you're going to be running? Uh, I think That's a secret? Yeah. It's going to be a 283 with a power pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Power pack. Yeah, that's a Gen, a Gen 5 LT with the 6L80 transmission. Okay. Yeah. Good wood over there. Okay. Right here, man. I already did that, right? 
You already did this one? Yeah, I just gotta do the firewall and then your side. You got the rocker? Uh, yeah. Okay. That looks pretty good, man. It really does. Well, you know what? Oh no, that, that's like looking into the future. That's like 2026 hey, paint job. You, see, my duty and get paid for it. you see, that's that's what a lot of people don't understand. What Bobby just said. You you can paint my dually. <laughs> I'll let you. I'll let you. <laughs> I wish you guys were closer. I'd let you work on my car. <laughs> hey, Y'all didn't see the other ones. I put them up there. You don't want to work on my car? Yep. You don't want to be my friend? <laughs> I wish you guys were closer. I'll let you paint my car. So I'll let you. I mean, yeah. Elijah's about to start driving, man. I'm pretty sure what he's going to get. Yeah. G body? What was it? What was it again? Oh, Big E? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think he's getting the Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the towel's on the roof. All right. What kind of rolls, huh? Phantom? The one you can't see? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I hate this car. <laughs> well, the video's about that, that car, dude, not your car. We can do a separate one on your car. Oh, I like that car. Man, so we got it, everything in 600. Skirts, balances, firewall, the entire shell, and the trunk. And we washed it. Looks the same in, in the video, I'm sure, but it's in 600. You show off your plaque. You show off your plaque. plaque? Yeah. Got it back from Chrome, huh? Yeah, I won't say who because, well, it took too long, but. We have to give them 10 pedals. <laughs> who? <laughs> mm, what do you think? Yeah, great, man. It's oh, got yeah. a little smudges, yeah. needs to be cleaned up. Mirror, nice. man. Yeah, it's really nice. Much fancy. What color are you gonna paint? It's gonna have a um, yellow, bag yellow bag. Yeah, yellow bag. Uh -huh. Good. What you think, man? Good day? You got everything done yeah. before lunch? Yeah, we had a good lunch too. Uh, I hadn't had water burger in a while. Good old patty milk. <laughs> so Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, the 20. Uh, well, the, what was the Friday we said? 29th. 29th is when we're going to paint this thing, weather permitting. Weather permitting, yeah. The day after Thanksgiving. Sure. Now, are you hell bent on flow coating it? Yeah. 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 Why? To protect the paint. You can look deeper. Yeah. Oh, what? No, they don't know about that. <laughs> no, they don't. What? what, what? <laughs> That was some, that was some DJ DMD. Need that jelly to shine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give it that deeper look. And then also, whenever you flow coat, you 600 grit, you know, whatever, how many coats you put, and uh, that 600 grit 
takes out so many imperfections. Yeah. Quick. Which you would normally buff, you know what I mean? And you kind of live with a few yeah. here and there. And you don't got to do that when you flow coat. So after you, you, you 600, your original coats are clear. You put three more. And then it's easier to buff and you end up with a cleaner paint job. And and you can buff it. You can go straight to a thousand grit. You can even go 800 yeah. if you want to buff it. You know, and get that thing flat, flat, and you know, buff it out. So yeah, I think flat like Bobby's ass. <laughs> negative, <laughs> negative nalgas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it real flat. Man. I don't think we showed the the color on the on the trunk, man. Like a, a big area, you know what I mean? Because this was masked. Yeah, it was masked. Yeah, yeah I had I painted. Uh, I don't know, like a month ago, maybe, maybe more. Outside, yeah, outside in the backyard, flat. flat, and it got no trash, man. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, and you put like zero effort, and it seems like when you do that, you get you get better. Yeah, man. I, I bare metal it, you know, bare metal completely, and then and then epoxy. Did you sand the epoxy? No. So you bare metal it. You put full strength epoxy, and then you put this base coat over it. In the same day? All the same day. Unreduced epoxy? No, full, uh... Yeah, yeah, unreduced. Sealer. Oh, sealer, you reduced it. Okay. Yeah, I did it on the same day. I started in the morning and by... Right after lunch, I was done. I just hit it nonstop. Man. Metal, metal. Okay. Well, that's a wrap, man. I guess we ain't gonna do nothing on this car till till th after Thanksgiving, man. So, y'all stay tuned. The next video is gonna be when we're painting. Now we we'll probably do one. I'm gonna have because we I think well. I'm gonna have an uh, assembly mock-up video for the frame. Before that. Yeah, before that for sure. But we also got a mask. Yeah. We got to find a day to mask. Okay. That's easy, man. So thanks Thanksgiving. No, not Thanksgiving. There's two weeks in between. Yeah, but I won't be here. The thing, the thing about the mask, like you can't mask too far in advance because because the humidity will make the tape fall off. Yeah, we'll figure it out, man. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. You talking about the dash or roof, wing strike? That's it. Okay. So Friday after Thanksgiving, this thing will be silver. We're gonna do the fenders, the doors, the shell, the top of the hood. The skirt, the balances, and then the Continental kit. Yeah. All right, man. What you think, Bobby? I wish my car was solid. <laughs>